Assalamu As alaikum and welcome to the King Abdullah Sports City Reserve Stadium here in Jeddah. The second round of Group B in the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship begins with Nepal versus Iraq. The 2024 WAF Women's Championship is the eighth edition of the International Women's Football Tournament in West Asia. The tournament is being hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and it is the very first major women's football tournament to be hosted within the kingdom. Jordan are three-time defending champions having won the last three editions back in 2014, 2019 and 2022. There are eight countries participating within the 2024 edition the highest number of participating countries in a single edition since the United Arab Emirates back in 2011. With Saudi Arabia participating for the first time in a football tournament, major football tournament, it is truly a special time for the kingdom. And Jeddah will be the designator host city for this tournament. Both teams just making their way out of the tunnel. Our referee this evening is Morad Hanin. There is no VAR in action tonight, so it will be down to the official's decision. So Nepal, previously competing in the South Asian Football Federation Women's Championship. And back in 2022, they were runners-up after losing to Bangladesh 3-1 in the final. it is for both sets of players there representing their country and in particular Nepal made their debut in this tournament last fixture it is their second appearance in this tournament here tonight and they are coming into this on the back of a 4-1 win against Syria in their debut game of the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship tournament Iraq previously participated in the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship back in 2011 where they got to the group stages and after losing all three games they were eventually knocked out. So just to have a quick look at the lineup starting with Nepal, Nepal making no changes from their 4-1 win against Syria, Tumbapo in goal, Jassi, Anita Basnit, Bujal, Jita Rana, Pooja Rana, Pretty Rai, Deepa Shahi and Poodle 
alongside Amisha Kaki and Sabitra Bandari up top. Of course, Kaki, Bandari, Poodle and Basnet all got on the score sheet last game and they'll be looking for a few more goals here tonight. So Iraq are coming into this game on the back of a 3-0 loss against Palestine in their opening game of the tournament and they'll be looking to get a little bit better than they did in their first game of the tournament. Captains tonight, Nadia Fadhil for Iraq and goalkeeper Angela Tumbapo for Nepal. A huge game for both teams here and the officials of all female official lineup to tonight. Morad Hanin leading the way, and formalities will just get underway. And a quick flick of the coin, and choice of ends, and will be underway very, very shortly. So, as I said earlier on, Nepal, it is their first time in this tournament. Previously, they were participating in the South Asian Football Federation Women's Championship but they are now competing in the West Asian Football Federation Championship. We did have a couple of games last night in Group A and Saudi Arabia. Tough game again for Saudi Arabia. They did bring it back, but Lebanon beat them to it 3-2. Saudi Arabia managed to get two goals, but it just wasn't quite enough to walk away with the win. And then finally, just looking up the lineup for Iraq, making two changes from their 3 0 loss against Palestine. Tibarak Al Rahman and Huda Hadi Abdel Mari will start ahead of Gufran Sadiq and Maze Mahdi Hassan. So only two changes for Iraq and no changes from the debut match for Nepal. It was a 4 1 victory, so why change something if it's working? Of course, we have plenty of substitutes on the bench for either side. And we have seen in the majority of matches many, many changes for either sides. And Rajendra Tamang, the head coach for Nepal, and also Salah Al Salihi for Iraq. Two huge games for the head coaches here tonight. Quick check of the watch from Morad Hanin, and we are underway. It is the first fixture of the second group stage B, and it is Iraq up against Nepal. Iraq already with the attacking threat. Of course, in the first opening five, ten minutes or so, the match nerves will just be settling. Cleared away by Zipal. And we saw so early on in the game against Syria with Nepal, they started off like a lightning bolt, scoring in the ninth minute, followed by the twelfth minute, then the eighteenth. Three goals in such a short period of time made it extremely difficult for Syria to get back. Syria were only able to score from a set piece towards the end of the second half, but in the second half, it just wasn't enough for them in the end. Um, Iraq are playing from right to left on your screens in the white strip. Nepal are in the red from left to right. <laughs> Lovely quick play from Nepal, as I just said that. Just lost it in midfield. The ball's dinked over the top, but Angela Tumbapo is there. Only one goal conceded Angela Tumbapo last game. From a set piece and looked like she was in two minds whether to catch or parry it away. And it just slipped through the fingertips and ended up in the back of the net.
Huda. Just a bit too heavy. Goalkeeper lets it trickle past and go out for a goal kick. First real touch for Zara Ali Hussain. Decides to go short to the right. Long ball into midfield. Huda trying to find Shokan. Shokan now chasing. Angela did well. Deeper. Bit of a heavy touch, but deeper there. A well, bit of a cry there from one of the Iraqi midfielders. Calling that one out, but the assistant referee thought otherwise. See how quickly Nepal, though, go on the counter-attack. Playing out from the back. Quick, short passes, and that was just given away. Khan dispossessed. Excellent quick feet from Pretty Right. Long ball down the left hand channel, just too heavy, and Amisha Kaki couldn't quite get a hold of that to control the ball as it came through. driving forward lovely ball through show Khan just again just a bit too heavy that final ball through into the final third for both sets of teams at the moment is where it's all going wrong doing all the hard work to drive it through midfield and get the ball to the final third but that final pass in is just a bit too heavy at the moment excellent turn excellent skill from Rekka Poodle there Karam just trekking back just to guard the ball as it trickles all the way into Zara Ali. So Iraq previously participated in the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship back in 2011. They lost all three games back then, so they were knocked out within the group stages. So that's kind of the target for them to get past the group stages in 2024. Since 2011, they haven't participated at all within the tournament. And of course, leading the way is Jordan, participating in all seven and crowned champions five times in the West Asian Football Federation Championship. They are also runners-up back in 2010. So they are really the team to beat this year. Sabitra. Sabitra squares the ball and nearly, very, very nearly. Rekka Poodle, she got something on that but just couldn't quite steer it on target there. Excellent throw in, just trickled nicely into the pathway for Sabitra. An excellent ball, squaring it across Sabitra, right into the pathway of Rekka Poodle, but the angle was just a little bit off there for Poodle. Given away far too easily back into Pujarana. Good strength though. Soz with the lofted ball over the top. Just cleared out of play there by Jita Rana. It's fabulous to see the full crowd there in the stadium. Looking on. You can see the Nambahal team have a heavy following. over the top, not enough to get to Shokan though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Try for handball there, but referee wave play on as Deepa Shahi brought that one down. And you can see Sabrita Bandari just coming all the way back to try and reclaim a bit of possession for her team. She's done extremely well there. Excellent quick play. And now Nepal on the counter attack. Ball into Sabrita. Just lost it. And cleared well out of play. So as it stands, there has been 27 goals scored in six matches so far within the tournament. And Mesa Jabara from Jordan is currently the top goal scorer with three goals. Excellent play by Anita. Lovely ball in. Quick play again from Nepal. Very, very quick on the counter attack. Excellent defending, though, there. Absolutely superb from Nadia Fadil. 28 years of age, Nadia Fadil. Iraq defender. Lovely lofted ball over the top, just finding Amisha Kaki. It is Anita Basnit coming up for the corner, and actually within their debut game last match against Syria, she actually scored in the 12th minute from a corner, very much like this from the left-hand side, curling in nicely. And well, you could see the curl that she gets this time. It wasn't quite on target as she'd have hoped as it was last game. You could see it just nestling right in to the penalty area there. Again, given away far too easily, right back into the advantage of Nepal. Pujarana, bit of a rash challenge here. She's absolutely sandwiched there, pretty right. It was Solin Abdullah just coming in from behind on pretty right there. Zara Ali Hussain just organising her wall. Just a two player wall. Sabrita Bandari has just gone over. But you could see the power through that strike she can get. It was dipping, but not early enough. Nothing too much for. Sara Ali Hussain to worry about. Best defending by Doreen. Headed on though by Jitarana. Bit of a high leg there, but play on, says the referee. Vantage play. Shokan. Shokan twisting, turning. Looking for a gap. Can she find one? No, she can't. Jita Rana dealt with that well, but it is back out to the right-hand side with Shokan. You typically see Shokan, I mean, she plays in the Saudi Women's Premier League. She plays for Al Hilal, and what a fantastic player she is going forward. And she has so much pace, so we typically see her driving down the channel Quite a heavy touch and then runs onto the ball. Most of the time she can outrun the defenders when she does drive forward. It'll be interesting here tonight to see if she tries that tactic against Nepal for her country. Very long strides as she drives forward. Shokan Sadralin. There is the high leg and it was from Deepa Shahi on Sepal Sukhur. She has been given a yellow for that high leg. Bit of disbelief there from Deepa Shahi. Deepa, Deepa. 
So there are three teams that are making their very first appearance within this tournament. One of those is Nepal, Guam, and also the hosts, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is actually the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's very first major tournament that they are participating in. It is quite remarkable, all the development that has been going on and the focus that has been put on the women's game within the kingdom. Lovely quick turn. And now Sabitra Bandari driving down this left-hand channel. Has a go, has a go, and oh! Bandari again for Nepal. Calm as you like, finds the back of the net. Sabitra Bandari. It's that injection of pace down that left-hand channel. Goalkeeper came out. Zara Ali Hussain tried to close down the angle, but it wasn't enough. And Sabitra Bandari just slotted it home. Excellent work. She scored last week in the 18th minute, and she scored again here tonight. She was well on side as that ball was played through. You can just see how quickly she runs onto the ball and the composure as she strikes the ball as well. Just from the inside of her foot, just caressing the ball in nicely. Absolutely terrific stuff there from Sabitra Bandari. And well, it's Iraq nil, Nepal one. As it stands, Nepal are currently looking one of the favourites in Group B at the moment. Fantastic debut game against Syria last a couple of days ago. I was about to say last week then, but it was only two days ago. 4-1 victory. Absolutely marvellous. And Sritra Bandari again! Oh my goodness me! The defender was caught napping, didn't look... No communication from the rest of her team and Sabitra Bandari just got on the end of that and she found the back of the net. Zara Ali Hussain, the goalkeeper, absolutely in shock there. Didn't really know what to do. Goalkeeper and defender just completely caught off guard. Doreen Mullabakar took far too long. No communication from her team, indicating that Sabritra Bandari was driving forward just to try and nick the ball off her. And well, can you believe it? In the space of two minutes, Sabitra Bandari, with her pace skill and absolute magnificent composure, scores again for Nepal. And all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, it's a rat nil, Nepal two. Sabitra Bandari will be catching up with Mesa Jabara from Jordan. She will be wanting the golden boot for this tournament. And it's looking likely she is a real contender for that golden boot. You just see Rajandra Tamang, head coach for Nepal now. She's indicating just to calm a little. Excellent quick play again from Nepal. Lovely skill, just find that small pocket of space just to play triangle passes into. Quick one twos. Pretty unlucky there, Sabitra Bandari managed to get the whip that she needed, but she couldn't quite keep that one in play. Also looking back on the game against Syria, the 4-1 victory for Nepal. It wasn't just one goal scorer, there were four individual goal scorers in that game. So it just shows you what they can bring to the table. They're not just heavy, heavily relying on one player up top. Multiple players have the ability to score in this Nepal side. If we do look at the FIFA ranking as well, 
So Nepal are actually one of the highest ranked within the tournament. Jordan are the highest at 74th. Nepal in its third at 105th. In its second is actually Guam in 93rd. Just a bit of a rash decision there and saw that one out of play. And as it stands, Iraq are actually not ranked within the FIFA rankings at present. Another opportunity, and it is an opportunity for Nepal. And is that strong enough? What a save from Zara Ali. I didn't quite know if that was just going to trickle behind. Didn't look as though she got enough on that, but she absolutely did there, Sara Ali Hussain. Strong palm, strong wrist, just to deny Rekha Poodle. Here's another corner in. Anita Basnet stepping up again on the right-hand side this time, and it is an out swinger and headed away. Out for another corner, Shokan. Sadralin, which brings that physical dominance and additional height in the area, defensively and offensively. Anita Basnet, again headed away by Shakan. Just see how quick the Nepal players are onto every single ball. Iraq just don't have a minute or a second to think here. As soon as Iraq get possession, Nepal reclaim it back, and here we are again. Sabitra Bandari squares the ball across, and what a save from Zara Ali. Stood aground and curled that ball right in there. Pretty Rye there having a shot. Excellent ball again though from Sabitra Bandari. You see the frustration from Pretty Rye. As soon as she struck the ball, she knew it was going straight to the goalkeeper. Didn't challenge the goalkeeper quite enough there, but again, it's all positive play from Nepal at the moment. Twisting, turning, dancing, Greca Poodle. Terrific work. Pretty Rye plays it out wide. Back into Pretty Rye. Lovely play, lovely quick play again, but dispossessed this time by Solin Abdullah. Just a bit too heavy for Anita Bassnet on this right hand side, but you can really see Nepal just literally. Passing the ball around Iraq. Iraq at the moment just don't have a look in whatsoever. Nepal are really bringing the game to Iraq and they're going to have to step up a gear or two now. Anita Basnet, not enough on that. Solin out wide. Touch from Shakan. Tries to turn, dispossessed. And again, Sabrita Bandari trekking all the way back to come and help and reclaim that possession. And Angela Tumbapo. She hasn't really had that much to do so far in the opening 20 minutes. One thing that Nepal do extremely well, when they have the ball, they come to claim the ball as well. They don't wait for the pass, they come to get the pass. And I know that's just real basics, but it's the basics that they do extremely well. That's just trickled out of play as Hira Kamari
well cut out. Jitarana just chasing into Pujarana. Now Nepal on the counter attack. Anita Basnit. Record poodle. Now multiple red shirts coming forward. Balls curled across. Headed down. And you can see as Nepal are driving forward. The number of white shirts that come forward and open up so many gaps for them to play into. Very clever at drawing the defender out. Better defending there from Isra Adnan. See a little bit of frustration now kicking in for the Iraq side. Looking at the next fixtures for Iraq, they will face Syria on the 24th of February. And Nepal will face Palestine also on the 24th of February. Later kickoff at 8 p.m. And that will be more than likely one of the biggest games within Group B, Palestine versus Nepal. The two strongest teams so far. Lovely ball through and Sunitra Bandari just couldn't quite get a hold of that one. An excellent defending by Sadia, Nadia sorry, Fadil. <laughs> Terrific defending. Another corner which Anita Basnet will go across to take. And I'm sure she'll be trying to whip this one in as she did against Syria. Curled in nicely, and oh my goodness, saved by the woodwork. And Sabitra Bandari, she came for the rebound, but just got too much elevation under that. But you could see again from Anita Basnet, the whip she gets on that corner, absolutely terrific. And if it wasn't for the woodwork, that would have been in. Has a go, has a go, and it's steered wide. And Nepal support. Full spirits there. So Nepal actually formed a women's national team in the mid 1980s. Now, as I say, that Solin has a go and first real save that Angela Tumbapo has had to make. It was heading wide of goal, but Angela Tumbapo, she didn't know that and she wanted to get two hands on that, and rightly so. As I was just saying, so Nepal women's national team actually set up in the mid 1980s and they debuted in the 1986 AFC Women's Championship. That was their debut game. And their first, very, very first official match was actually against Hong Kong on the 14th of December back in 1986, where they actually lost 1-0. But you can see the development that has happened within the country for women's football since then. Headed down, but Anita Basnet gets a hold of that. Anita Basnet now has a touch, has a second, tries to go for the back post, and oh, just wide. And Anita Basnet couldn't quite clip the posting in there. And perhaps she just took a touch too many.
Cleared out of play by Isra Adnam. You can see that's really when Iraq start to panic rather than reclaiming possession and playing the ball through the midfield, they just clear it out. And well, Zara Ali Hussein came out for that one just to parry it away. Let's have another look here because it's whipped in from Rekha Poodle. See Zara Ali Hussein just reaching out, trying to get a hold of it. Al Rahman, long ball, trying to find Shakam, but it is a long ball played well out of play. Shokan Sadralin plays for Al Hilal in the Saudi Women's Premier League. She's had 10 appearances and nine goals. Nine goals in 10. Quite a terrific statistic there for Shokan. Again, quick play from Nepal as they go on the counter attack. Just a bit too heavy for Anita Basnid on this right hand side. Excellent goalkeeping from Zara Ali Hussein. Advanced quickly off a line there just to deny Bandari. Shakan standing her ground does well. Solin reclaims. And that one's just headed out of play. Basnet finds a gap. Well cut out there. And Doreen clears it away. Not away enough though. And Deepa Shahi, quick ball in. Again, cleared away. But it really is last ditch defending here for Iraq tonight. Literally having to put the bodies on the line just to try and get something on it to steer it away. They've not really had any possession whatsoever throughout the first 30 minutes here. Nice touch, lovely play. Oh, just couldn't quite get a hold of that one. Rekha Poodle does well though, she redeems herself certainly there. And Amisha Karki just let that one slip past and Shakan now. Dispossessed, back in with Deeper. Solin. Deepa Shahi. Pressure from Sapal. It was that challenge from Sapal Sakur that's just been pulled up. Just see coming in from behind on Deepa Shahi. And Murad Haneen just having a quick word with Sapal Shakur. So from nineteen ninety up until 1999, it was actually a period where Nepal didn't actually have a women's national team. There was a bit of a pause with their national team for eight years, and then it was reformed again. And the 
and a heavy focus has been put on the women's game within Nepal and you can see the sheer class that they bring to the pitch. Lovely touch from Bandari. It's a bit too heavy again for Anita Basnet, but it's all the right type of play. Very, very positive from Nepal. And a rack at the moment, just finding it difficult to get out of their own half. Just can't find any the rhythm at all at the moment or any fluidity. They get hold of the ball and it's given straight back away. Second or third pass. It is Pujarana that's currently down. It was that challenge there from Solin Abdullah. Just as Pujarana passed the ball, it was Solin Abdullah that collided with her and brought her down. Calm as you like, Sabitra Bandari. And the celebrations indeed. And again, slotting it home just moments later. And celebrations with Anita Basnick, goal scorer last game as well. And they'll be very proud in the stands and look what it means to them. certainly bringing the party here tonight a very proud country <laughs> it appears that Pujarana is still currently down on the sidelines here just getting some medical treatment all appears to be okay she's now back on her feet Beatra Bandari just lingering up top, trying to just get a hold of that ball of any error there from Iraq's defence. But it is Shokan now driving forward. As I said, she always takes a heavy touch and strides onto that. It's not quite working here tonight against Nepal. Excellent work there, finding a gap though. But then just cut out. Excellent work here. Pretty right. Just intercepting that play. Fabulous work. And now Nepal on the counter. Cut out. Straight back into midfield to Solin Abdullah. And now this is where we see multiple red shirts making their way forward. Lovely ball through to Pujarana. Nice touch. Curls it across. And can it be? Can it be? Oh my goodness me. Excellent team goal there for Nepal. Pujarana on this right-hand side, just curling that ball in. And again, it is Sabitra Bandari claiming a hat-trick here tonight. Absolutely magnificent, terrific work here. And it was Pujarana just cutting in and curling the ball nicely to Bitra Bandari. And again, calm as you like, Bandari. Waited for the ball, timed her dive well, and just headed it home. And well, as we are approaching that 45th minute mark, it is Iraq nil, Nepal three. Ask Karim just trying to play a few tricks and flicks there, but got the throw in from that. An opportunity, Bandari. Nice touch, plays out wide. With the ball over the top, and it is Karki chasing. Karki keeps it in. Just cut out of play there, and Solin clears it well away. Only as far 
There's another red shirt though. Quickly, Nepala passing the ball. Excellent, excellent possession play here. Stinked over the top, but cleared away. Shukan catches on. Can her long strides beat the defence of Nepal? And it is Shokan. Shokan brought down. And what a save from Angela Tambapo. Absolutely terrific there. And Shokan very, very nearly claim one back for Iraq. It was an excellent race from Jita Rana and Shokan Sadralin. Good pressure from Jita Rana, trekking all the way back. And then finished with a terrific save from Angela Tambapo. And that's really the very first attacking threat that Iraq have made. Nadia Fadil plays a quick ball. Shukan now chasing. Chitaran is there. Reclaims and passes it back into Angela Tumbapo. Again, Nepal using the width well. Really taking the game to a rack here tonight. Making a rack do all the running, all the chasing. The ball's just slipped by, well recovered. So later on this evening, Palestine face Syria at 8 p.m. Make sure you do tune in to that game. And then we'll have the final group games on the 24th of February. So as it stands, Nepal are top of the table alongside Palestine. And then in third, Syria and Iraq, bottom of the pack at the moment. Shokan chasing a bear again, applying the pressure. And it is only really Shokan that is the attacking threat for Iraq, which makes it extremely difficult and so much pressure on Shokan Sadralin. At the moment, that's really their, their only tactic going forward. Get the ball to Shokan and allow her to run on to the ball, trying to outpace Nepal's defence. As of yet, it hasn't worked. But whether she will break down Nepal's defence, only time will tell. Heavy challenge from Nadia Fadil. Play goes on. to Bassett, great touch, lovely turn, ball through, and it is Bandari, and it's just scuffed away, bit of lack of communication there with Iraq's defence, Nadia Fadhill, well it is out for another corner, you can see the frustration with the captain Nadia Fadhill, really not happy here tonight, It will be Anita Bassnett on her favourite side. From the left, it's always an in swinger. She goes for goal. From the right, it's always an out swinger. Aiming for the penalty spot. Can she curl this one in? And it is Anita Bassnett. And it's headed down. Half cleared there. And again, Sabitra Bandari coming all the way out to reclaim the possession again. Great work. Finding those pockets of space in and around Iraq. And here is a chance, and no, oh, just wide. 
Dipasahi. Very nearly. You can see it just went from right to left. Another opportunity here, and it is Sabitra Bandari. Excellent save, but it is Sabitra Bandari again. She doesn't give up. She won't give up. And it's Bandari's night. Four goals for her country here this evening. And that's what it means to the supporters. What a fantastic player they have. And what a fantastic job she's doing here tonight and has done in the previous game as well. Her initial strike was saved. It was a good save from Zara Ali, but she didn't give up. Instantly up on her feet again. Sabitra Bandari, after the initial strike, brought down first time, but back on her feet to ensure she got the rebound. In Iraq defence, absolutely trembling at Sabitra's feet. Absolutely terrific, and it is Iraq nil, Nepal four. Nice ball to the left from Tumbapo. Quick touch from Rita Rai. And now Iraq on the counter. Can they claim one back before the break? Well blocked. Long ball over the top, but it's going to be a bit too heavy. And I'm sure Angela Tumbapo will... Take your time with this one, no need to rush as we are at the 45 minute mark and with only two added minutes. Pujarana plays it short as Sabitra Bandari just touched that. Did appear to come up but referee not interested in Shokan now. Lovely ball to the left. Huda. Heavy touch. Well guarded by Pujarana. And it actually has been given to Nepal. You could see Huda Hadi just bringing Pujarana down there. And now opportunity for Iraq has a go. Excellent hands from Anjali Tumbapo. She only conceded one goal last game against Syria. And that was from a set piece, a free kick. She just dipped and bounced over her. Excellent drive, excellent run here from Isra. But again, given away all the hard work down that right hand side and quality of that final ball is just lacking at the moment for Iraq. Here is the challenge earlier on from Pujarana. To be honest, she drawed that challenge in really well. Very, very clever from Pujarana. Well, there we have it. The halftime whistle has been called and well, what a start for Nepal. Their second game in this tournament. It is their debut within the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship. And well, what a start they are having. Sabitra Bandari, the player of the night, scoring all four goals in this first half. Well, let's see what the second half can bring. But at the break, it's Iraq nil. Nepal, four.
Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the King Abdullah Sports City Reserve Stadium here in Jeddah. It is the second round of Group B in the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship. And as it stands, it's Iraq nil, Nepal four. It is Sabitra Bandari, the player of that first half, scoring all four goals for Nepal. Absolutely terrific performance and it does appear that Iraq are making two changes. I will confirm exactly who will be coming on and off. So Zainab Abbas will be coming on and replacing Huda Hadi. Number four, Gufran Sadiq, she will be coming on in defence. Gufran did start last week against Palestine. And there is the change. She will be replacing Bara Dara. So two changes for Iraq in this second half. Gufran Sadiq is now on alongside Zainab Abbas. As it stands, no changes for Nepal. And to remind you, our referee is Murad Hanin. Quick check of the watch and we'll be underway. And we are, the second half begins. It's a rack nil. Nepal four. Very difficult first half for Iraq. Nepal were literally dancing around them at times. Nepal did well to draw out the defenders, opening up gaps and pockets of space, which they suddenly played into. And they've really struggled with the pace of the likes of Sabitra Bandari going forward and unable to prevent her from scoring, scoring four in that first half. Hira. Again, Nepal just starting off with possession play as they did do in that first half. For the majority of that first half, there was only really a couple of attempts going forward for Iraq and that was down to Shakan Sadralin. But again, her pace wasn't quite enough to get past the Nepal defence. Jita Rana, <clears throat> Nepal defender, did extremely well to trek back and apply the pressure to Shukan on those couple of chances that she had going forward. But apart from that, they've really not had a look in at all. And perhaps these two changes may just be enough. And it appeared that Nadia Fadil was brought down there and rightly so has just been pulled up by Murad Hanin. You can see quite clearly that Isra Adan just brought her down. Hira Kamari steps up to take. Again, the midfield really using the width to create that space. Long ball over the top. Bounce in the centre, but Karki gets a hold. Karki plays it in. Lovely little ball over the top, just cut out there and headed away, but Karki manages to get it back. Karki, oh, what a save from Zara Ali. Didn't have to do too much there, Zara Ali. Just fell down from where she was standing. Didn't really have to work too hard to get a hold of that one. But again, they just don't give up Nepal going forward. And as soon as it's blocked or intercepted, they just get the ball back time and time again. It's real evidence of that in some of the goals that Sabitra Bandari scored in that first half. There were times where she was knocked down on the initial attempt 
but got straight back up for the second and just shows the motivation and how much Nepal want it in their debut in the West Asian Football Federation Women's Championship. Just knocked out of play from Gufran Sadiq. First real touch of the ball, Gufran Sadiq substitute in this second half for Iraq. Sure, Anita Bassnett will be making her way to the corner flag. Shukhan's done extremely well to defend these corners. The ball's curled in near post, and it is Shukhan again getting ahead on that, steering it away. Shukhan picking up the short. And it's an in swinger. Shakan managed to trek back all the way to the midfield. Just deflected there by Pretty Right. Ball through, heavy touch though. A bit of a collision there, but Pretty Ride gets a hold in midfield and dispossessed though. And ball down the right hand channel. Deepa Shahi gets a hold of that, but cleared well away. play from Nepal Could just feel the pressure a little bit there from Shukhan and Solin it's just playing it back just to keep things a little bit calm and Shukhan hacks at that one but she manages to get the ball and play goes on Given away far too easily. Solin Abdullah now. Lovely little flick and back into Solin. She's going to need support here. Gufran decides to go back. Now cut out of play, and here could be an opportunity. It is Sabitra Bandari up against Nadia Fadil. Has been given to Nepal. And that's going to be a great battle in this second half. Sabitra Bandari up against Nadia Fadil, captain for Iraq. She actually plays at Al Kua Al Jawahi. Great strength, great battle between the two players. had no offsides as of yet within this game something that Nepal do very very well keeping on side as they go forward and Zara Ali claims that nice and easily Jita Rana again trekking back a bit of lack of communication here and it could just catch them out and goalkeeper has missed it it's gone miles left and my, 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 could this be a foul from Tumbapo as well? Moments of madness here for Nepal. Just a few errors that they've caused themselves. It's creating an opportunity. And again, when it gets a little bit hectic within the midfield or at the back for Nepal, Sabitra Bandari always treks back 
to reclaim that possession. She did it in the first half. She did it in the game against Syria and she's doing it here again tonight. No opportunity. Bandari's wide open here. Well cut out though by Isra Adam. This is where Nepal, you know, they're four goals ahead. They just need to settle it a little bit. Stop panicking. And there was the challenge that there was a real cry about from the Iraq players. Like Jita Ron are there at the back, just so composed, so calm. And that's exactly what Nepal needs to do making it a little bit difficult for themselves at times. Just keep the ball, keep passing it in that pockets of, in those pockets of space. Well held up by Shakan. Good feet from Shakan. Just cut out there from pretty right. at the moment to Barak has a go but it is well wide to Barak Al Rahman well it is Nepal the bigger crowd here tonight and they've not stopped the chanting has been there to show their support to their players Absolutely terrific seat. <laughs> Lovely one two by Bandari. Lovely ball down the channel to Anita Basnet. Excellent skill, excellent footwork, bringing it back to try and draw out the defender. Twisting, turning, Dipper. Dipper decides to go back to switching play. Just cut out here by Solin Abdullah. And again by Jitarana. Excellent at the back for Nepal, Jitarana. Trying to turn and brought down in the process, but play on, says the referee. Advantage play. And Kharki just couldn't quite get there as the ball came across. Brought down again from the back, but Murad Hanin, she doesn't want to entertain that. And in both games that I've actually commentated on, the referees have done extremely well. More so just allowing the game to breathe and allow the game to flow. I think with VAR sometimes the game stops and starts far too often and it really can take the excitement away, especially for the fans and the spectators. But there's no VAR in action here tonight. It is down to Morad Hanin and her team. Nadia Fadil coming across there, strong just to intercept and block Anita Basnet. Flicked down by Karki, cleared away by Fadil. Lovely ball down the channel. Sabitra again, Bandari through the legs and well, surely that's got to be pulled up and it is, Morad Hanin, the referee, is marching over to Nadia Fadil. You could see Nadia Fadil just pulled at Sabitra Bandari. She just 
Went through the legs there. She literally dived to block her, literally like a rugby tackle on Sabitra Bandari. And well, an opportunity now for Nepal. And it wouldn't surprise me if Anita Bassnit steps up to take this. We've seen what she can do from that left-hand side with corners. Now, this is a better angle and closer range. So potentially she could be taking this or will it be Bandari? It is Bandari. Anita Bassnit has now moved away and joined the pack in the 18-yard box. Bandari looking for her fifth goal of the night. Can she make it five? Bandari! Cleared away. Pretty rise there, though. Pretty right. My, my, my. Just hitting the side netting. But how easy was that for Pretty Right? Claiming the ball back. No one's around her all the time in the world. Was able to take one or two touches before she initially struck that ball. If it was a few inches to the left, that could have been him. Excellent skill. The agility, the players, the quick pace of the Nepal team is quite magnificent at times. She's got all the basics put together. And sometimes the basics are exactly what you need. Surely a foul here. It appears it is Doreen Mullabaka. Again, flying into pretty right. And another change for Iraq. It will be number 18 making her way on. Samira Raouf Sali. it will be Isra Adnan that will be making her way off. So Isra Adnan, her night is over. And Samira Raouf is only just beginning. Also looks as though there potentially could be a couple of changes for Nepal as we approach the 62nd minute. Lovely lofted ball in. Sabitra Bandari goes for it but misses. Anita Bassnet dispossessed. And the ball scuffed away. And Samira. First rail touch at the ball there and she's going to have her work cut out with the likes of Sabitra Bandari. Driving towards her time and time again. <laughs> Shokan just seeing that one out of play. So as it stands, Nepal are yet to make any changes. We've had three changes for Iraq so far. So as I was saying in the first half, Nepal actually had an eight year period without a women's national team. But following the team's regeneration in 2010, the women's side then rose 22 places in the FIFA ranking since then. I mean, it's quite remarkable, really. Now 105th in the world, the third best FIFA ranked team in this tournament. And there is one of the changes, the first change for Nepal. And Rashmi Kumari making her way on. 
And also Dipa Sahi, she will make her way off and make way for Anita Casey. Shakan, heavy touch, give him straight back to Amitra Jassi. First touch of the ball there. Poodle, twisting, turning, dispossessed though. Shokan gets a hold. Nice touch from Solin. Too slow, far too slow there. And Poodle just capitalized on that. Taking far too much time, Solin Abdullah. Basnet, lovely ball through, Bandari claims, Bandari manages to get it across and it is there to the substitute, substitute brought down though and cleared away and the referee has called it but has called it for Iraq, it is Nadia Fadil down, Rashmi Kumari as she just got to touch the ball as she went to kick the ball, she kicked Nadia Fadil instead. It's a little bit of bother here, Nadia Fadil. So previously, Nepal participated in the South Asian Football Federation women's championship and previously they were runners up back in 2022 and 2019 in their competition back in 2019 they won three games and had one loss and also a mirror result back in 2022 won three games and only one loss and with nine points You are just joining us. Welcome to the King Abdullah Sports City Reserve Stadium in Jeddah. The current score line is Iraq nil, Nepal four. No goals scored as of yet in this second half. But Shakan now is driving forward. Drives out and gives it back to Nepal. Nepal making it look extremely easy to reclaim possession here now. Lovely bit of one-two work there, Bandari. She is really the playmaker, the goal scorer, the real anchor for Nepal. Excellent defensively and offensively as well. Nadia looks for options, decides to go. Shakan's there. Still with Nadia, brought down though this time and referee waves play on. We've seen that on a number of occasions here tonight and now Bandari gets the ball, goes past one, pulled back and it is surely a yellow card and a free kick here. An instant apology from substitute Gufran Sadiq. She knew she was in the wrong directly in front of the referee. Absolutely reckless here. Mandari was about to go past, but she was pulled back. And well, a prime opportunity now for Nepal to make it five. Silly decision there from Gufran Sadiq. Not being on the pitch that long either, but the frustration you can see is there. Well, golden opportunity now for Nepal. Uh, 
appears that Bandari is there also pretty right into the wall. Well organized by Zara Ali Hussain. She organized her wall well and ensured that one. And it must have been the block from Sipal Shakur. That's why she is down. And did it hit her in the face? It appears that it did. Just ricocheted up. You can see her just holding her head at the moment. There's your downward header from Sabitra Bandari. The goal scorer, the only goal scorer of the night, but she has scored four goals so far for Nepal. She scored five so far in the tournament. She also scored two days ago against Syria, scoring in the 18th minute, the third goal for Nepal on that night. And against Syria, it ended 4-1. Will history repeat itself? Can Iraq do something magical here to at least claim one goal? Or will it be an absolute whitewash for Nepal? Nepal Shakur just getting a little bit of medical treatment. It's quite close range as well. It was hit quite powerfully by Pretty Rai, so Nepal Shakur is really going to feel that one. There's nothing worse than when the ball hits you in your face, especially when it hits you in the nose. Lovely scale from Pretty Rai, driving through the midfield. Long ball now into Bandari. Bandari playing it back into Hira Kumar. So tomorrow evening, Lebanon will be facing Jordan. And the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the host nation, will be against Guam. Two fixtures tomorrow. From 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock kickoff. Make sure you do tune in. Of course, later on this evening, we do have another fixture, and that will be Palestine facing Syria. Here are Kamar. Lovely play from Nepal. Excellent footwork from the goalkeeper, Angela Tambapo. Just literally passing around Iraq, making Iraq come to them. In fact, it has to be one of the best possession plays, apart from that ball given away there. It is one of the best possession that I've watched in this tournament so far. Very clever and quick. Always use the width well. Just a heavy touch from Pruja Rana. She can see she's not happy with that one. semi-finals for the tournament will actually take place on the 27th of February both semi-finals will take place on the same day and then the final will be taking place on the 29th of February and that will actually be held at the Prince Abdullah Al Faisal Sports City Stadium in Jeddah lofted ball over the top pretty rye clears away well away indeed see Rajendra Tamang indicating 
He wanted that ball to be quickly played up top, trying to find Zabitra Bandari. And Powell decided just to keep the possession, which rightly so, 4 0 up. See, one of the players actually has a problem. She's just had to make her way off the pitch. So she's just taken off her boot at the moment. Angela Tumbapo. And there she is. Rekka Poodle. She's having to tie her laces. It looked as though Rajandra Tamang, the head coach for Nepal, he was getting a little bit furious as. Iraq managed to get a bit of possession whilst Rekka Poodle was down. Samira Raouf just couldn't quite steer that one towards Shakam. from the Iraq bench there is a bit of a challenge on to Barak Al Rahman ball well over the top and Jita Rana chases Jita Rana does well kept that one in play one ball over the top Shukan is trying to keep it in can she just trickled out of play. Nearly, very nearly. Shikhan isn't as quick as the likes of Sabitra Bandari, but with the strides that she takes, she, she quickly does pass a good distance in such a short pace period of time with those big long strides. Handball. It's been given, given against Doreen Mullabaka. To see as Rashi Kamari offered that ball up, but here it is into the 18 yard box. But back with Bandari now. Anita Bassett's there, plays it back in to Bassett. Anita Casey. Dispossessed this time and better defending from Solin. <laughs> Given away, a bit too heavy for Zainab Abbas there. Ball in from Samira. But back with Samira now. Again, given away by Samira. She does all the hard work to keep the ball. Gets a few touches and then the distribution just given away back to a red shirt. Excellent skill, excellent footwork from Tabarak. Tabarak into Shakan. Bit of a heavy ball again has been given to Iraq. Hira Kamari claiming that it was a Nepal ball, but assistant referee thought otherwise. It looks as though a couple of changes for Nepal. We saw a goalkeeper change again in their debut match against Syria. It's always very interesting when the goalkeeper is changed, but it is Mina Kareem Jabba that's being brought on. My apologies, it's Usha Nath for Nepal. She is making her way on. 
number 22, Chandra Bandari, will also make her way on and she will replace Rekha Poodle. Excellent game from Rekha Poodle. She scored in the first game, the fourth goal in the 68th minute two days ago. She's had a solid performance here tonight. So a new goalkeeper and Chandra Bandari slots into midfield now for Nepal. Fresh pair of legs, can that just give Nepal a little bit of a boost that they need right now? No goals scored in this second half, all four goals scored in the first. Pretty wry, lovely ball through, Bandari! Yes, she's done it again. She's made it five, she's made it six in the tournament so far. Five here tonight, absolutely terrific. And well, I did say a fresh pair of legs with the sub two substitutes, Chandra Bandari and also Shanathan Goal. Could that be the difference? Could be that, that be the boost that they needed and well, a goal came soon after and it was an excellent ball in as well. Lovely ball through to Pretty Rye. Pretty Rye with such a delicious ball in. The weight of the pass from Pretty Rye was literally pin perfect for Bandari. Bandari not even taking a touch, hitting it first time as she runs onto the ball. Denying Zara Ali Hussain to get anywhere near that. The goalkeeper had absolutely no chance. And well, it's a rack nil. Nepal 5. <laughs> right now a potential opportunity but just trickled away. Difficult night, very, very difficult night for Iraq. They've just really not been able to break down Nepal whatsoever. They've had the odd opportunity, but they've just not been able to keep hold of that ball. Every time they do reclaim the ball back, it's literally just given away time and time again. Opportunity again now for Nepal brought down, but play on says the referee. Shakan, can she outpace? Can she outpace Hira Kamari? Again, Nepal defend well. You can see the reaction, the, re the emotion on Iraq right now. Getting very, very frustrated. And another change, Sabina. Shadari, she will be making her way on and it is Hira Kamari making her way off. Again, another good performance, solid performance from Hira Kamari. She can't, gonna need a bit of support and support is there, but the pass back wasn't strong enough from she can't. And now Sabina. Ball in the middle. Pretty right, excellent link up play with Anita KC. And when, when Nepal go on the counter attack, they really are a solid unit. They move together and get so many red shirts in that final third, but also defensively, multiple players are excellent at trekking back to reclaim that possession. Yes. 
and a foul from Solin Abdullah. Absolutely ruthless yet again. We've seen time and time again shirts being pulled, players being knocked, and it is Solin Abdullah. She has been given a yellow for that foul, and rightly so. Have another look here, and it seems to be pretty wry. That is, is always at the end of those fouls, being knocked from pillar to post at times. Pretty wry. to Rana into Anita Casey plays the quick ball through to substitute she is just knocked down and it's good defending by Nadia Fadil Rashmi Kamara just knocked there she just tried to go on the overlap Nadia Fadil clears it long as far as Amitra Jassy though. Nearly a great ball through there to Anita Casey. Shub Khan. Has a run. Shukan brought down and play on, says the referee. Now Nepal on the counter-attack. Can they make it six? But it is intercepted this time. Better defending by Iraq. Shakan on this left-hand side and it is out for a corner. Well, an opportunity now. Iraq haven't really seen many corners here tonight. It's quite... A reckless challenge, but Morad Hanin, referee, is just explaining her reasoning to not pull that one up. First real test for the substitute goalkeeper here. It is to Barak Al Rahman making her way to the left hand side to take. And only a few minutes left of the 90. The ball's whipped in, headed on, flicked on and flicked away, but it is out for another corner on the right-hand side. for the likes of Shukan, also Sapal. In particular, Shukan with her added height. It's flicked away, and Shukan! And that was the moment, that was the moment that Shukan should have claimed a goal here. Just trickled towards Shukan. Nine goals in ten appearances for Al Halal Shukan Sadrulin, but she's just not quite finding a way to score here tonight. Not quite finding a way to score for her country. With a 3 0 loss against Palestine. And it's gonna look like it's looking likely, sorry, that it's going to be a heavy loss again here tonight. Iraq are just finding it difficult find any way through and now Nepal on the counter-attack ball across from Pretty Rai long ball in over the top trying to find Bandari <laughs> she 
Khan dispossessed, but with a red shirt. Quick ball tried to be played, but just cut out there. And again, all that Iraq try and do is just get the ball up to Shukan and multiple occasions she's all alone up top and it makes it extremely difficult, especially when Nepal track back extremely well. Just absolutely surround Shukan so she has no way through whatsoever. Headed away by Nadia. Swing of the leg from Shukan. Couldn't quite get a hold of that one. Sabina into Anita. Pretty Rye now. Trying to find a gap to get up top to Bandari. Bandari again trekking back to make sure her team reclaim that possession. Nepal have just got a little bit sloppy in midfield at the moment. Just giving away that third or fourth ball. We are approaching the 90th minute here. Excellent run from Sabina. Cut out though by Nadia. And Jita. Cleared away by Nadia. It's gone all the way back to the substitute goalkeeper. and added four minutes here. And to Barak. Iraq are now making it a lot more difficult for Nepal to find any gaps. And the ball down that right-hand channel and a gap could be created here and it will be out for another corner. minutes or so that stand will erupt with Nepal claiming their second win and it's headed on and just couldn't quite steer that one down Rashmi Kumari lovely ball in great connection just the wrong angle and a cheeky laugh just to brush that one off Nice touch from Anita Basnet. Anita Basnet manages to get it across and it's headed on. Cleared away now and Gufran comes out into Shikan. And already Nepal supporters are standing with their flags ready. They're waiting to get the party started. Pretty right, lovely ball in. Bandari, twisting, turning, dancing as she always does. That with Bandari, lovely ball, just dipping nicely. And again, Rashmi Kamari, she couldn't quite get that one on target again. But it's all smiles with Rashmi Kamari. Lovely ball through, Shikan claims. Shikan wants to go all the way on her own and that's where the error is there. You can see the frustration with a fellow teammate. Heavy touch given away, back to a red shirt, and pretty right. Bit of time, bit of space to play with here and opportunity for Bandari, cuts it back. Bandari again, plays it back into Pretty Rai. And dispossessed this time, but Sapal now plays it in. Shukan, Shukan driving forward. This time she decides to pass. She wanted a give and go. 
But Gita Rana got there first. Pretty Rye now. Lovely ball across. Chandra. Chandra being pulled back a little bit there, but referee wave play on. Last few moments of the game. Can there be another goal? Or will it remain five for Nepal? Nepal are doing exactly the right thing right now, just passing the ball around, keeping that possession, keeping it away from a white shirt. Little chip over the top, and now here's an opportunity. Bandari is there. Bandari! Oh, what a moment that would have been. The power she got through that header. And well, that sees us to the end of the game. And again, let's have a quick look at this replay here. Bandari driving forward, and it just clipped the top of the netting there as it dipped as it just went over the crossbar, but Morad Hanin, she's called the full-time whistle, and well, what a night it's been. What a start for Nepal. What a difficult night for Iraq. Very, very difficult. And you can see Iraq head in the sand, absolutely frustrated. And smiles galore for Nepal. So on the 24th of February, Nepal will face Palestine and Iraq will play Syria. Tonight there were five goals scored and there were five goals scored by that lady there, Sabitra Bandari. Remember her name because her name will go down in history. She's already written history books for Nepal. She's already proved what she can do. And well, she's going for that golden boot, certainly. Well, it ends here. Iraq nil, Nepal five. Make sure you tune in to Syria versus Palestine at 8 p.m. this evening. You have been with me, Amy Gillingham, Shukran. Good night, Masalab. كابتن زهرة هارد لك قدمتوا مباراة يعني في الشوط الأول كانت المستوى الدفاعي كان سيء لكن في الشوط الثاني قدرتوا تحاولوا تحلوا مشكلة الدفاع وبس كان ينقصكم الهجوم كلمينا أكثر عن مباراة اليوم والله شوي كان توتر بال بالشوط الأول بس الحمد لله والشكر إنه حاربنا للآخر دقيقة وإن شاء الله بالعوض القادم بإذن الله المباراة المباراة القادمة هل هي نتيجة اليوم هل هتأثر على المباراة القادمة؟ راح تكون نتيجة أحسن من هاي النتيجة إن شاء الله شكرا كابتن زهرة شكرا لك
كابتن غفران هارد لك ممكن الشوط الاول ما كان الوضع دفاعيا احسن وضع لكن ايش اللي صار وتغير في الشوط الثاني كان المستوى الدفاعي ممتاز بس كان ناقصكم تسجيل الهدف اول شيء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كان مستوى بالشوط الاول يختلف عن الشوط الثاني اجواء مباراه تختلف المدرب حاول يطينا انه خطه نلعب نمشي عليها بس اللاعبات كانوا مجهدات وهي اول مشاركه لنا وان شاء الله نعوض باللعبات الجايه واحنا جايين حتى نشارك بالبطوله حتى نقدم مستوى يليق بينا بس الحمد لله والشكر محالفنا الحظ وان شاء الله نعوض باللعبات الجايه موفقين بالكاتب بالقادم شكرا لك شكرا Captain Sabita, congratulations. Thank you so much. Three points and five goals. Super hat trick in the first half. Tell me more about it. Uh, I'm so happy for these goals. Uh, and I'm uh, really thankful my teammates. They, they, they did for me. I appreciate to them. The fans are here from the, from the first minute until the last minute. They are like calling your name and they are very happy with your national team. What is your message to them? Uh, thank you so much for the, all of you uh, for coming here to support us. And we are really happy and then we are uh, so, so um, thankful to, to, to them. And uh, I hope next month uh, you, you will uh, come to support us again and we'll do for, uh, for you uh, to do a good, uh, good result. Thank you very much, Savita. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Great today, congratulations. Very big effort from you today. Tell me more about today's game. Uh, I'm really happy that we uh, won our second game. And I think uh, the way we are playing and uh, the results we are giving is really, uh, uh, worth, uh, really good. And uh, I don't think, but still I don't think it's enough because uh, we still have uh, big matches coming soon. So uh, I think we need to look forward to uh, playing against big teams also. Thank you very much. Thank you and good luck in the future. Thank you.